Hi everybody and welcome back. I am a hacker and it's really nice to have you on board. In this video, we'll continue with hacking into OS2 Shop. If you don't know the context of this video, we are hacking into OS2 Shop from last few videos and I promise we'll finish off hacking the OS2 Shop in this video. But unfortunately, due to some complications, I was unable to practice all of the challenges all of my time was taken by solving the hashes that we got from exfiltrating the entire database in the last video. So that's why I wasn't able to solve all of the challenges. So I do apologize for that uh, because we will not be going over all of the challenges in this video, but I will do in this video enough so that it will be enough for you for the one week of practicing. Anyway, uh, enough of me talking, let's get straight into the hacking. But just to give you an overview, if you haven't watched my previous three to four videos in which we are hacking into our Stu shop, we have just sorted out some of the challenges which include some SQL injection, some XSS vulnerabilities, also getting the password and X exfiltrating the entire database of OS2 Shop. So if you're ready, let's get started. So in this video, the first challenge that I wanna sort out is the administration get access or access the administration sex section. In order to access that, I will copy the link and I will just remove the scoreboard and then write admin just for starter and just to see what comes up. So you can see we have been redirected to the main page, which is not what we need. So I'll try for administrator in order to find out. And like, it's all just trial and error. You have to try something and either it will return an error or it will return a success. So let's just try out administration and you can see we have access the administration. You would see that how I would know that there is an administration or something like that. So do note that whenever someone creates an application, whether that is a website or that is any other application for managing something, they indeed do create an administration section for their super admins in order to manage everything from there. So if, if that is website, so there would be a link something like dashboard or administrator or administration or admin or admin dashboard, something like that. So you have to try and guess those um, those URLs. How I did found out that administration was that I tried a bunch of stuff, a bunch of names after this hash. First, I was trying this without the hash. For some reason, Sometime it returned the uh, sometime it returned the correct page and sometime it didn't. So that's why I just added a hash and just tried again and again and found this page. So that is how you should find some hidden uh, hidden pages. Like uh, there are other applications that you can use for finding the administration URL. Like you can use derp for example, but that would take a lot of time. So in so you can run the derb in the background as well as try some of your own things and eventually you will find something. So this challenge is done the administrator well. While we are at the administrator, I wanna resolve this other challenge as well, which is get rid of all the customer feedback, which is right in front of us. So it's this feedback that we want to remove. So I'll just click on delete and you would see that the five star feedback has been removed. Now, if I come over here, you would see that that challenge is also sorted. So once we are done with the five star feedback, now let's just do this, use the depreciated B2B interface that was not properly shut down. So in order to solve that ch challenge, you have to come over to the complaints and once you are in the complaints, you can write something in the complaint and then try to upload some files. That files could be with different extensions. That could be either PDF, .js, .php, and other. So what I have found by trial and error is that when you upload an XML file, it would just complete that challenge. So what you can do is come right over here and just get some demo XML code. 
you can just copy the XML demo code. It could be anything. It could be just an empty file even. But you just need to come over to your text editor or it could be just Notepad or Wim or Nano and just you have to paste this code and then save it wherever you want. When you go to the folder that, uh, that the XML files are in or the XML file is in, it won't show at first. So you need to come over here and select all files. Once you do that and then upload the XML file, click on submit, you would see the challenge is completed. So what this challenge was all about, what this challenge was all about that you needed to come over to the complaints and you need to, you needed to upload an XML file in the browse. So how would you find that you would do this type of challenge or you would complete this type of challenge? Well, it's all just trial and error. You have to try what, what kind of file upload does this application support? So it depends on the target that you are hacking against. In that you just need to go around, try for different stuff, whether that supports uploading a shell or whether that doesn't. So let's do one more challenge and then we will wrap the video up and that would be read our privacy policy. So doing this privacy challenge is pretty simple when you are logged in, but if you are not logged in, it would be a big hassle. Anyway, if you are logged in, just come over to the accounts and then click on privacy policy and then uh, privacy and security and then click on privacy policy. Once you do that, you would complete the privacy policy challenge. Anyway, let's come back to the scoreboard. Okay, so while we are at it, let's just do one more challenge and that is upload a file larger than 100 KBs. Let's just do that and let's just prove that this application can upload more than 100 KBs of file. So I'll write some message and then I will try to upload a file. But before uploading a file, I will turn on the intercept and then come back over and then deselect the file that we were working with before. Do note that the file that we are uploading is less than 100 KBs before uploading it because it won't allow uploading a file that's larger than 100 KBs. It will directly throw an error. So we'll first try to upload a file that's less than 100 KBs and then we'll intercept that request and go to the burp and try to amend the request or try to amend the file right over here. So as you can see, it does have a lot of this gibberish, you know, but I will just make it a little bit more bigger than 100 KBs by pasting some more gibberish in it and then clicking on forward. Forward and then turn the intercept off. And as soon as I come over to the juice shop, you would see the challenge has been completed. So what we did in this challenge was that first I tried to upload a file that was less than 100 KBs, which was 99.3 or something like that. And then I amended that file in Burp while intercepting the request in Burp and changing the contents of file and then uploading the file. That completed the challenge. So you can do that as well. Like suppose you have an application that has a validation on a file that cannot upload any other file besides PHP or any something or PDF or something like that. So you can intercept that request in Burp and then you can upload that file. So this challenge is also done. Another challenge that looks interesting to me is this leave 10 feedbacks in less than 10 seconds. This one, let's just do that. So I'll come over to the menu and then click on customer feedback and then come over to the burp and turn on the intercept and try to leave a feedback by entering all of the details. Once I do that, I will come over to the burp, click on forward, click on forward quite a few times, examine the request and here we are. We are submitting a feedback right over here. So I will send this request to repeater and then come back over to the repeater, turning off the intercept, and then play around with this feedback thing. So I'll just click on send, 
and then send again and then send again 10 times in a row by leaving 10 feedbacks so now I can come over to the feedbacks and you can see the challenge has been done so let's look at this once one more time what I did was I just made one request by leaving a feedback once and then came to the burp and send that request to repeater by right clicking and then send to repeat by clicking the send to repeater once I did that I came over to the repeater and then repeated that same thing again and again and again and again by leaving 10 feedbacks in a row in less than 10 seconds so that just completed the challenge now coming back to the scoreboard and looking for something more interesting I believe that the video is getting way too longer than expected so let's just end this video right over here and we'll take it from here in the next video until and unless I find something more interested than leaving that feedback thing. You know, these all of these challenges are interesting, but let's just leave it here. And I think we made good progress in this video. Um, it was really great, but in the next video, we'll continue from right over here. If you haven't watched the previous video, that those are also really interesting i will encourage you to watch those first and then come back to this one because we did a lot of interesting stuff in that again i would apologize for the inconvenience because i promised in the last video that i will do something um, that i will complete the entire or two shop in this video but i was unable it was because of hashing thing took a lot of time for me um, while I was hashing passwords in uh, which we exfiltrated from the database and I was unable to do that. I installed Hashcat and ETC but I got I didn't got any luck. So if you have any suggestions on that just leave it down below how I can uh, how I can decrypt all of the passwords of OSG shop and how I can do that so i will take that route and do it. as always stay cheeky breaky have a pleasing day bye for now peace